example, again, a long, fairly complex expression, I'm going to start out with getting rid of my parentheses by applying my rule about products raised to powers. So starting with this first expression right here, I have negative two thirds, and that's raised to the fourth power, a to the fourth raised to the fourth, b squared to the fourth, c cubed to the fourth. Starting with the second expression, that's three fourths to the third power, a to the fourth to the third, b to the sixth to the third, and then c to the eighth to the third. This third expression, I've got a squared to the sixth and b cubed to the sixth. Next, I'm going to use my rule about a power raised to a power. So a to the m to the n equals a to the m times n. So multiplying this out, negative two thirds to the fourth, if you work that out, you'll get 16 over 81. And this becomes a to the four times four is 16, b to the eighth, c to the twelfth. So this was this whole first expression here. Now I've got it simplified to this. Three fourths cubed comes out to 27 over 48, so I've taken care of that. Here I have a to the 4 times 3, or a to the 12th, times b to the 18th, times c to the 24th. My last expression gives me a to the 12th times b to the 18th. And I'm not quite done yet because I have some like bases here. So I'm going to group the terms with the same base. And I'm going to use that, my rule that tells me that if I am multiplying expressions with the same base, I add the exponents. So I'm going to group my constants. And then all of my terms that have a as a base, which would be a to the 16 times a to the 12th right here, and then I have another a to the 12th over there. Then my b terms, b to the 8th, b to the 18th, and another b to the 18th. For c, I have c to the 12th times c to the 24th, and no c term over here, so just two. Remembering my rule that tells me that if I have the same base, I will multiply as follows. I will add the exponents. Calculating this out, 16 times 27 divided by 18 times 48 actually turns out to be 1 12th. Now here I need to add 16, 12, and 12. So that's 24 plus 16 is going to give me a to the 40th. Here I have 8 plus 18 plus 18. Those add up to 44. And finally, 12 plus 24 is 36. Finally, I have simplified form. No bases are repeated. A, B, and C are present only once. I have no powers raised to powers. And my fraction is in simplified form. So I started out with a pretty complex expression up here, and I began by removing the parentheses, applying these terms, the exponent to each of these terms according to this rule. Once I did that, I took care of my powers raised to powers by multiplying the exponents. Finally, I grouped terms with the same bases so that I could easily add the exponents to get my final expression in simplified form. So today on Educator.com, we were introduced to monomials and learned three very important rules that will be applied when you're working with monomials in the future. See you soon.